So now it's time to insert the radiator. This thing has got like points here and it's got like tabs. These tabs they need to slide. So make sure that both sides, the little V shape and the little tabs are clean. Insert this one first. Work. That works a bit better. There's uh, two holes here for the power steering, I think they are, or for maybe the. Uh, I think it's the AC. Seems like to be AC holes. Maybe not. Anyways, there's two holes here that uh, clips a little radiator up front, and that seems to be where the issue is. So if you can go to the block where you got the, the pointing thing, if you can go past that first, I think it's going to be a bit easier. It's not going to be easy, but a bit easier. Then it's the rubber hose here. I'll flip it on the side. to work a bit better okay so now I need to uh, hook up this uh, radiator on the back because it's not at the right place it's going to be clipped if you come this way The radiator's got a clip on that plastic here. Now it moved a bit, so just want to make sure that I'm going to line up this thing properly. Here it is. Now it's at its place. It has to move a bit toward this place. Hold in place. This one just clip it in place at the bottom. Then you should have a good setup. Yeah, that's about it. So the radiator's got two bolts, one here, one here. And there's another one on the other side, yeah, the other top, both, both top, just the same as this one here. Even though you don't see the other side, there's uh, two boats that goes there, the boats. They're like that. Torx. So let's uh, hook it up. Once your, uh, once your, your uh, cones or your point, uh, plastic points, are both located both sides you just bolt it up and that's all so I had a hard time on this side at the bottom to clip it so what I did is I took the radiator I slide it a bit this way and a bit this way and I try to slide first the bottom and then clip it like that so then the other end was easier because uh, for some reason here was a bit of a hard time. Also on this side, you gotta make sure that this uh, second radiator stay clipped. Sometimes it tends to fall inside and down. So you wanna try to hold it by the upper frame and not by the middle part because you're gonna damage this thing. Uh, this little hose, make sure you keep it aside. You don't wanna damage that. 
So now it's going to be time to hook up the radiator. So uh, I need to hook up this hose here, but I think, I'm not sure it's at the right place. I'm going to have to make sure. So this one here connects here. This big one here connects here under the uh, housing of the oil filter. And then the big one here that I move aside because it was annoying. This one here connects at the bottom with the radiator there. Okay. So that's uh, one, two here, three here. This one will connect eventually on the uh, coolant tank that's going to sit right here with this little one. So uh, I'm going to connect uh, these uh, three hoses right now. Maybe not this. Uh, yeah, this one too. Then it's going to be time to connect the intercooler at the bottom. In order to connect the intercooler, I need to put there's a pipe that goes here. Uh, so now it's... Uh, yeah, I'll show you. So a little drop of oil in there for the o-ring inside the big pipe that's connecting here at the bottom. Push the clip. Once it's going to be clipped, it's going to click. So you will know when you're in you're at the right place. A drop of oil on this whole ring as well. Don't want to put much, just a bit, so it's going to slide in easier. Like this one here. That's in place. Then this little one here. This hose uh, goes along the firewall here. This is the coolant hose. This one here is one of the power steering that connects with this. So there's a plastic bracket, if the plastic bracket, there's a two different size of hose, the bigger one is the coolant one, so if it's not properly aligned, just flip it, and uh, this is what I just did. So I'm going to put a drop of oil on that one as well, o-ring, just slap it in, that's all there is to it. So I'm going to insert the intercooler this way under the car, this end here needs to connect with the needs to connect with this uh, aluminum pipe here at the bottom there's this uh, rubber hose and there's a uh, the aluminum thing here I need to replace my seal my seal was broken so this is the seal I'm gonna insert it put oil on it this end of the pipe It's gonna connect with this big one that goes all the way to the throttle body. So right here, make sure you have your collar. My collar is gonna be hooked up this way, so I can access easily the. Uh, it's gonna be here, but I'm gonna be easily able to access it if I need to loosen up later on. So that's all there is to it. I'm gonna go under the car and insert that thing. Also, one thing to mention. There are two bolts like that, just like the radiator. These bolts, I'm going to hook it up here. You can see here there's a hole. I'm going to put a blue towel underneath, you're going to see it better. So one here. The other one here is a slot. So if I put blue underneath, 
you can see it so these two holes are for these two bolts so clip clip them first then bolt, bolt the uh, two uh, screw in place okay this rubber thing doesn't go here it goes underneath so we'll put it after sorry about that so this is the setup to install it cool. I always have a bit of a hard time to uh, clamp this uh, pipe with the uh, intercooler so what I do I take these uh, pliers I put oil all over the place on the ring and also on the aluminum uh, inside part and I clamp it with the aluminum flange and the plastic just slightly here both place till it clicks so this is how I do this so you can see the boats, the two boats. One is uh, right here, and the other one the other side. And this rubber thing goes here underneath. So you insert that like this. And then you just turn the tabs both places it goes on the front head of the intercooler these are uh, to locate the uh, radiator fan there's one of each on both sides time to insert the fan the fan is located with these this is uh, at the lower part these two tabs, they locate into the uh, intercooler. This side here, there is like a slot, like that, that it slides in. This is on the driver's side. And on the passenger side, we need to bolt it up with uh, the uh, bolt of the uh, radiator. So radiator is going to hold, this bolt is going to hold both radiator and the fan. So now it's time to insert the fan like that, from up above. Also, we might have uh, here, this is to clip the, uh, this is to clip this hose here, that's coming from the intercooler, there's a clip there. Right now, it's not hooked up into this, uh, it's not hooked up into this hose. Because I want to be able to play with it if I need. So, if you look from this side, you'll see that uh, they're not they're not connected yet. This uh, hose should come all the way up to here. So we see I'm moving this uh, hose here, that's from the intercooler. I slide this one outside and I move it. That'll help for sliding the whole thing in place. So now it's uh, the clip of that hose that interfere with the, uh, with the ridge on the fan. So with the screwdriver, I can gently push it up. If you look here, you see the clip is underneath that ridge. So I'm going to need to, to uh, it's hard to show you, like that maybe, I need to, sh to slide it aside, or maybe just slide the hose this way, yeah. now it's in, it's just a matter now of uh, inserting the lower pin, the fan is mostly at this place. I just want to make sure I'll go from the bottom to make sure I got this right. The radiator uh, doesn't use the same bolt as this one. So it's another bolt exactly the same that uh, holds the uh, 
that holds the uh, fan on the radiator. So you just line up the thing here. Now it's 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 not in line. It's not in line. I gotta shift it the other side. I'm gonna shift it right away. Then you will be able to. Oops, more like it. Let me check that it's snapped at the bottom. Head on. So now it's a matter of just putting that bolt in place. Bolt goes right here. So it's now time to hook up the uh, connector. So what I do typically is I swirl that around this thing here. So the whole thing it holds together. So you just plug the connector here. And then you clip this uh, hose on top of the fan. All right? Maybe I can twist it another time here. Okay, so this is good. You gotta make sure that this thing here, now we're gonna snap that hose with the uh, hose that goes to the other one and we gotta make sure to... Uh, and we have to make sure to snap this uh, clip here, the clip on the rubber here. This plastic clip on the rubber here so that's clipped let's just hook up this one here on top of it in place just need to tighten up that collar okay this is done 